I'm going to show you a very easy way to get to use these little bags. These are the little gusseted bags and I love them. So the nice thing about these is they fold open. So let me show you. I'm going to cut a 10 inch piece, 10 inch piece of DSP by two and seven eighths, no, two and three fourths. I was making a lot of these, so, okay. So we've got the piece and I'm just gonna fold it in half. Okay, and so I've got this, what I would do is take a circle punch and punch, just put it right up here and have a circle and then you could see that on the inside, okay? So this is what I do. Because, okay, you can, if you don't want to use a lot of candy in your bag, you cut a bigger piece of paper. <laughs> no, it's true. Because it, some of the candy is real expensive. So, you, so what you do is you make it flat, little bag, and then you put inside of it this little piece of paper. So on the one side like that, and on the other side like this, and then you go, just push it down. So this kind of becomes your top. Okay, so there's your bag. Oops, that one didn't get back in there, but let me show you. There you go. Now see how the back, you can see it through. See, if this, these were at the dollar store, these little um, skeletons. So that's the two and three quarters, and you can see how it's gone in each gusset on both sides. Okay. There's no bottom to it. So the bigger the paper, obviously there's going to be less candy in there. Okay, here's another one. The Christmas treat just for you. And I love how you can see the back of it. Very simple. And they just, they do, they just sit. Here's this one. This has no circle on it. And this is just the little peppermint candies. Love, love, love this DSP. Here's another one with candy corn. Obviously candy corn is cheap so you can make a smaller one. <laughs> that sounds pretty bad, doesn't it? Use some washi tape to decorate it. Okay, those are those bags. Okay, next thing I'm going to show you. Okay, I love red and white. Red and white is my favorite during the holidays. I just, but this one, I did the glitter embossing powder which was great, but it is really cute. So now if you want to add the glitter, you know what to look for. <laughs> Here's that same cute little, um, the cable net, and I just cut it out. Hint on when you cut the cable net, it does kind of um, weaken your paper underneath. So I did a backing for it. I'm, I just want to try it a different way, but that's, that's what I did on that one. This right here is another more glittery one. We stella we did the Wink of Stella little stuff right here all over. I don't know if you can see that, but we'll have these out for you. So every year I have to play with just red and white because it's so classic. And just the glitter. Just this one stamp that most wonderful time of the year, which I love. If you ever drive by our house, you'll understand why it's the most wonderful time. So I love this one. Simple, simple, just washi tape. But it looks like paper. It's just the washi tape. So really fun. This one was like my first version of what you had. And they said, no way. Look at all that masking. It's kind of the crazy, the crazy um, candy cane. Here's another one with washi tape, with just using the other side of that stamp and just making it like a frame. Here's some really cute tags. These, I love, love, love the little um, punch with the tags and, oh, this right here, how about making your little gingerbread big? See, he's holding this little sign up. So you cut them apart. Here's his face, his arms, and his legs. You could do that also. So he's, he can be holding anything. This is, a, this is a lot of fun to do, but a lot of work. Because you got to put all those in, but that's another fun one. So enjoy 
those ideas. 